Hi everyone, my name is Amanda from Echo Consulting and today for our lesson learned, I wanted to share a really great integration tool between Miro and Microsoft Teams. So if you're not familiar with Miro, it's a digital whiteboarding platform. Our team here at Echo has been using it quite a bit to do some uh, virtual brainstorming collaboration between remote members of our team. We're actually entirely remote, so having a tool like this where we can have collaborative, um, in the moment ability to brainstorm and connect and plan um, is really helpful to us. So this is a integration again between Miro and Microsoft Teams where within a Microsoft Teams meeting, you can actually embed a Miro board so that everyone who's in the meeting has access to it and can actually add to it, they can edit it. And then once it's created in the meeting and the meeting ends, that board is actually directly linked to your Miro account. So you can continue to work on it after the meeting ends. So the way this works, when you're in your Microsoft Teams meeting, you'll just have to hit this button that says apps. Now, when you do this, you'll actually see that there's quite a few different apps that you could integrate with Microsoft Teams. Miro is in my recents tab because I use it. Uh, but I'm just going to search for it anyways, just to show that you can always search for an app to use. So you're going to go ahead and select Miro. Now, when you see this uh, pop up window, it will prompt you to log in to your Miro account. I'm already logged in. And so once you put in your login information, you'll actually see uh, the boards that you have access to. So in Miro, if you've got a bunch of boards already, you could embed any existing board. But I'm actually going to make a new board. Um, for the purposes of this meeting. So I'll go ahead and click new board and I'm just going to title it Miro and Microsoft Teams integration sample. Okay. And then if you had a company wide or organization wide Miro account that there were multiple seats, different people who could use that account, there's a chance that you might actually have different teams within your Miro account. And so if that were the case, you could actually select a specific team where you wanted this board to exist. We've just got the one echo, so I'm gonna go with that. And then I'll just hit uh, embed board. So once that's embedded, it shows up on the side. So we've got this toolbar at the top that now has this Miro logo icon and it actually is showing us the board that I created that Miro and Microsoft Teams integration sample board. And then we've got this sidebar here that gives you some directions just on how to share this. So there is a specific button when you're wanting to share this with your participants in the meeting. You just hit this little arrow on the side it's not the same share button that you would usually use if you wanted to share your screen or share a different browser window or, or app window or something like that. It's actually specific to this board. So I'm just gonna hit this share button. And then when I do that, you'll see that the main window of the meeting actually becomes a Miro board. And this is a, an empty board, of course, it's a brand new board. So it doesn't look like much right now. If you've never used Miro before, this is how it starts. So it's a big open space. You can add in shapes, you can add in text, you can add, um, there's some really great templates here. I'll just show so we can just get this rolling to look like perhaps a mind mapping exercise for a team. Um, Templates are accessed here. We've got some great videos on our YouTube channel that show some of the features of Miro and our favorite ways to use it. Um, but for now, I'll just make a really quick example here. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller. So again, if you wanted to do a mind map, if you were brainstorming um, themes for a new quarter, I know in the marketing team on, on at Echo, we use this quite a bit to help us come up with ideas and put together um, th those ideas into a comprehensive plan for all of our marketing uh, projects. So you could go on with this and make it however you wanted, but the key here is that anybody who's in this meeting on Microsoft Teams is actually going to be able to view this board live within Microsoft Teams. They can edit it, they can see it. Um, and then once you're done with the meeting, this board will remain in your Miro account. 
So again, really great way for an entire group, a a company or an organization or whoever's working on a project to just embed this Miro board right into the meeting and then have it uh, a working document without having to go back and forth between different apps. So that's our lesson learned today. If you have questions about Miro or you want to see how to use this tool, again, check out our YouTube channel or send us a message.